my cholesterol. I need a soda. What kind? Peach, strawberry, watermelon, pineapple, and I know just place to get it. And here it is. Welcome to the Homo Emporium. Over 130 different kinds of soda here. What's it pop? Pop. Soda. Soda or pop? Pop. Most definitely soda. Pop. This is soda. Pop. It is soda. I caught pop. 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 It's both. As far as I know, the word pop actually comes from the type of bottle that they originally put soda in. They sealed it with a marble in the top. Uh, the carbonation naturally sealed it. And when you push the marble down, it made a loud popping sound. Whether you call it soda or pop depends on where you live and where you were raised. In Illinois, 66% of the residents call it pop versus 26% who call it soda. 8% call it Coke or some other variation. Where do these people come from? I actually call it soda. I grew up in New England and it's soda out there. But most people here call it pop and so it's starting to rub off on me. How's that for a White House answer? We started as an antiques and craft shop with an old Coke machine that had seven different types of soda in it. And it went over so well, we expanded up to 35. And the more soda we got in, the more people we got in. So we're now an antiques and craft shop that has the largest variety of bottled pop in Illinois. I enjoy coming here because I like all the uh, selection. It's just kind of fun to see all the different kinds. And um, probably my favorite kind is the uh, Sprecher Orange Dream. My favorite pop here is Orange Crush. Knee High Orange. We actually have two most popular sodas. Green River is one because everyone here remembers it from when they were young. And Grape Knee High is the other one. The most unusual soda, I think, is our loco lime, which is a lime soda with a hint of chili pepper. We get these sodas from all over the United States. A lot of the companies are regional bottlers that don't generally sell outside their specific location, and we bring them all here. I do have one soda that has three times the amount of caffeine of Mountain Dew, so I do require a permission slip for kids under 16 to buy that one. And most parents do give their permission. I, I've had three parents who said no. And that soda is called Balls, but it's spelled B-A-W-L-S. Most people say, I can't believe there's this many kinds of soda. The kids usually have the same reaction. They're overwhelmed and they are in awe of all the different sodas. Many of them have never had soda from a bottle and most of them have never opened a soda with a bottle opener and so I have to show them how to use that. How do you get this again? We have had people who grew up in uh, Brazil and Argentina come up and were quite surprised to find South American sodas in Homer, Illinois. Well, after we started uh, with the soda being so popular, we decided to kind of go with a little theme, and we've been collecting soda collectibles, memorabilia. We pick up a lot at yard sales, at local auctions, um, but we made one trip down to Dublin, Texas, where they have a Dr. Pepper bottler still, and got a lot of Dr. Pepper things from down there. 
Penny candy doesn't cost a penny anymore. We have five cent and 10 cent candy. And then we have, oh, the old fashioned candy buttons run 25 cents a strip and candy necklaces are now 50 cents. I really like the peach knee high. It has a really good peach taste. And we have um, something called Old Bob Miller's White Grape Soda, which is a white grape instead of a, a purple grape. And I think it's a little more refreshing.